Yes, this is your boy, Laddie Boy, back with a new Easy Drummer 3 tutorial. And this time I'm going to be focusing on Bandmate. Um, as you can see, I used Reason and imported, made a couple guitar samples that I actually exported out of Reason. And I'm gonna be bringing them into Bandmate to see if I can find some grooves to go with it. So, and they're all guitar tracks. So, I'm gonna start with the first set. First of all, let me just let you hear them before I actually put them into this. Is a this is a Calypso. Get the strum at a hundred and twenty beats per minute. So I'm gonna import it. So I've imported it into Bandmate, and you can see the timing is correct. Bandmate figure out that the tempo is a hundred and twenty beats per minute since I did it on the grid and now I'm gonna look for some grooves that may work with um, this Calypso guitar strum as far as the genres is concerned there's no genre here for Calypso or soca music the beat is quite different to all these other beats to some extent could be close to electronic with four on the floor kick but it's different so I'm gonna play it and see if I can come up with anything that may sound good. So I'm gonna start out first with pop rock country groove let me first thing that came to mind like um was um, hot, 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 who was done as like a remake. <laughs> it's not quite so good music, Calypso, but let's listen some more. That's quite interesting. Let me try the blues. Hear what I can come up with. Let's go. Let's see. Okay, let's try some electronic. Interesting. Let's see. Okay, let's try some Latin. Let's see how Latin songs with this guitar strum. So, 
Uh, my assumption is, is that there's not really a Calypso Soka genre here, or not even dancehall, but it is what it is, you know. And I'm gonna try one of the other files. I'm gonna bring in the reggae. As you can see, I recorded the reggae at 143 beats. So that's basically what a one drop would be, the tempo for one drop. But the reggae that I found here is not really one drop. It's more like ska. This is song then good. You know, if, the, if this kick was going steady, like doop, 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 that's the type of kick that would work really good with that guitar strum. Okay, this is the kick drum I've been looking for. So, um, this may actually work with the calypso a little bit. That steady kick. So you can see um, the reggae wasn't that bad. It was better than actually the Calypso Soka Strum. And I'm going to try the metal stack, which is heavy metal a guitar riff I played in. So I'm going to go straight to metal and let's see how this kicks in, you know. So right away I can tell that the metal guitar part really is kicking it with whether I'm playing it with a metal beat or genre or the pop rock. Let me try some Latin. No, uh, let me try the Latin. Let's see what I get. That doesn't work. You try fusion. That 
doesn't work either. Let me try disco. So all in all, what I've done is that I use, sorry, I use these four different tracks, files, which is Metal Stack, Calypso, Reggae, and Rock. And I was able to identify that the more familiar genres of music, the more popular genre of music, um, the metal and the rock, you find that there are a lot of grooves, matching grooves that can work for that. Um, which is good, you know, and the, actually the rock, uh, there was able there was some good stuff the reggae was uh, is borderline I found one of the beats that I can work with give it some nice human feel with some touches it could be made into a reggae into a really nice reggae beat as far as the soccer um, I know that's not part of the genre but I should be able to put the drums into the grid editor, which this is not what I'm focusing on this time, but I will actually go back and use the same soca guitar rhythm on my next tutorial, and I'll build some drums for it in the grid editor and see how that works out but all in all bandmate is good if you're a singer songwriter who plays guitar bass keys or vocals if you have an idea of what you're going after your choices should be more easier to find in terms of what i did is that i recorded my tracks to a specific tempo so i kind of like when i imported the file into Easy Drummer 3, it, the tempos would come up the same as the tempo I work with in my DAW. Um, if it was done without the tempo, I think the drums would be much harder to get it right. But by using a fixed tempo setting for the song, the drums could get more sync and target the groove better um, if you understand what I'm trying to say but all in all I think bandmate is a good addition to Easy Drummer 3 and I look forward to some feedback and some likes or dislikes or comments and most of all subscribe you know if you like what I'm doing with um, my channel subscribe i'm trying to get some more people on here and let me know what you feel about easy drummer 3 i think it's a great investment and i'm enjoying it so far so peace out this is your boy laddie boy take care